Hello there, Jason here again. Today I'm going to be talking about Marvel's Moon Knight series on Disney+. Plus. Um, the finale dropped yesterday, and I did watch it yesterday, but um, it was also May the 4th, so I didn't want to record a non-Star Wars video on Star Wars Day. Uh, so here I am today to talk about it. I am going to be talking about the series as a whole versus breaking it down episode to episode, because as I mentioned in my marvel fatigue video i was gonna wait until enough of the series was out or at least the entire series was out before i watched it um and i did i did kind of view it that way so that's just kind of how i'm going to be talking about it um there may be some potential spoilers depending on how you view a spoiler um so if you're not into that just uh turn off the video now head on over to disney plus watch moon Knight, and then you can come back and watch my review after that um but if if that doesn't bother you, let's let's keep going. And uh, so now that I've gone through the spoiler warning, uh, let's dive into this. I want to start by talking about Oscar Isaac. Um, as the main character of the series, uh, he gives a pretty solid performance or performances as the main character is suffering from dissociative identity disorder um, or, or as it was once known, multiple personality syndrome. Um he plays, you know, he plays two very distinctive characters. The first one I want to talk, you know, is uh, Stephen Grant, who uh, ref refers to himself as a gift shopist. He works at a gift shop in the museum in London, um, and he's kind of he's kind of kind of very different from any character that uh, Oscar Isaac has played in the past. Uh, first of all, he uses a very distinct English accent, um, and that kind of helps differentiate between the two, because uh, Mark, Mark uh, Spector, the other character he plays, which I'll get into in a minute, um, has, a, has an American accent, so it just helps differentiate the two. Um, Stephen is portrayed as very, you know, squeamish and shy, uh, a little dense at times, um, but he's just a normal guy just trying to get through his life and figure out, you know, what's going on to him, what's going on with him. Um he thinks he's suffering from uh, sleepwalking disorder, but uh, as things as the series progresses, he discovers that he's actually he's actually host to another distinctive personality. There's someone else living inside him, and that would be uh, Mark Spector, um, who is a you know as a mercenary, but also in the service of the Egyptian god Khonshu. Uh, where that's and that's you know as the Moon Knight, um, his portrayal of Mark Spector is kind of very straightforward. Um, he's kind of brash and cocky, but at times a little vulnerable. Very similar to a lot of uh, characters that uh, Oscar Isaac uh, has portrayed in the past. He kind of reminded me of Poe from uh, the uh, Star Wars sequels. Um, as I like to refer to it, an Oscar Isaac type. Um, but I really, I really, I really enjoyed his portrayal. You know, the the differentiation, the distinction between the two characters, um, because there are also scenes where he's playing very much against himself. So um, it, it's kind of fun to work with the dichotomy between the two characters. Um, and kind of the journey that he has to take of uh, they have they have to take of uh, self discovery uh, amongst you know amongst and with each other. Um, May Kalamawe, and if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, I apologize. I'm bad with names. Um, plays uh, Mark and Stephen's companion. I'll just say uh, Layla, and uh, she's a very She's a very interesting character. I enjoy the dynamic between her and, you know, Mark and Steven. Uh, she's a great foil for Steven, and uh, she's a good kind of companion for... Uh, did I say Steven? I meant Mark. She's a good foil for Mark and as a great companion to Steven. Um, she kind of brings out the best in Steven in, in certain situations. Um, honestly... Uh, she's such a strong and independent character and just so 
entertaining that uh, there I, I could watch an entire series about her. There was one episode in particular that starts off with her character and and you know I was I was so compelled by that scene. I just wanted to see more of her story play out on the screen. And we do see it kind of play out in quite interesting ways, but I I, I thought she was a good uh, I thought she was a good uh, uh, choice. Ethan Hawke uh, is the uh, villain in this uh, series. I say villain that way because he is in a long line of villains who don't exactly see what they're doing as wrong or bad. Um, he's very much like a Thanos type character in that sort of way. Um, he, he firmly believes that what he's doing is right. And he speaks, uh, with such, uh, conviction. Um, Ethan Hawke really brings that, um, uh, charisma, but he's also, there's also this sense of menace whenever he's on screen. Um, your night he he's he's the kind of character that leaves you questioning whether he's right or wrong. I mean, is he really, you know, is what he's saying is what he's offering really such a bad thing. Um, but as the series goes on, it becomes very clear that he's what he's offering um might not be as good as <laughs> as it's as it's uh cracked up to be. There were uh there were a few scenes, one scene in sequence in particular where I was just shouting at the screen in fury of him just because, and he was just, just because of, uh, what his character was doing in that situation. And, uh, uh that speaks a lot to Ethan Hawke's performance. Um, the story was very, you know, the story of the show is very interesting. I don't want to get too in, too much into it just because of that spoiler territory. Um, but it is quite compelling. I wanted to really watch it at my leisure. Um, hence I waited. So, you know, I waited so long until so many episodes were out before I started watching it. But, um, the story was just so, you know, it was just so interesting. And I was hooked from episode one that I just, I just, um, accidentally, I say accidentally, but isn't that how it always goes? I accidentally binged through, you know, the, the whole thing in like an afternoon. Um, now I'd watched episodes one through five over the weekend. And then when six dropped, I watched that yesterday. It's just to be, just to clarify, but it was quite, you know, it was quite entertaining. Um, the, 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 the action just, it's, it's, you know, it, it, it's pulse pounding, you know, it's heart pumping, it's pulse pounding. It's, it's, it's uh, 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 everything you would hope for in a Marvel series. And it just kind of, you know, there are times where you're just genuinely at the edge of your seat. And it can be a bit intense at times. It actually reminded me more of the uh, Defenders series, or formerly Netflix Marvel series, um, above all else. Um, it, it seems very much different from what Marvel had been doing prior to and i i like that i thought that was a nice touch that they're trying to move away from some of that and they're trying to try you know try certain things it felt a little bit more mature um than series before but still still a bit more restrained because they don't quite want to go into you know tvma r-rated territory um so i mean i think it kind of walks that balance quite well um the visual effects are are pretty good um i will say they're better than most series out there i think they're more they they're they're pretty well aligned with a lot of what marvel's been putting out in these shows um there were a few sequences where the visual effects were kind of wonky but um, it is a television series, so I can't be too overly critical. If this was a uh, if this was a motion picture, like a major motion picture, I would have been a bit more, you know, I would have been a bit more 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 uh, uh, taken aback by that. But with it's with you know with it being a TV show and having a smaller budget, um, I think that's fine. 
Um, I give it kind of a, you know, I give it kind of a free pass on that. Overall though, I think the series, I think it was a really great show. Um, it's different from anything that Marvel's been doing. And, uh, it was so, so interesting and so entertaining. Um, the performances were great, especially Oscar Isaac. Um, and, uh, 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 yeah, all in all, all in all, just a really good watch. I, I would, I would definitely check it out. Uh, for my final review, I'll give it a four out of five. Um, so, uh, if you've seen Moon Knight, let me know what you think down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on that notification bell to get updates on all my future videos. Um, thank you so much for watching, as always. Uh, until next time, have a good one.